Okay, so what I want to show to you guys today. I have here a very simple .NET Uno platform Skia GTK application for Linux, for Room uh, on Linux. But it's a very simple application uh, to exemplify the problem here. Uh, you can see the stack panel, a test block and an image. I have it running here. The test block, hello to Redex Horizon. The image that is the logo of Horizon, right? And it is it. But I'm also running it on my development board here, right? I have um, Toradex Oster with uh, Toradex Colibri IMX 8 uh, model, right? I'm also connected here with a 5 inch screen. Um, this is low resolution. I don't remember the exactly resolution, but it's 600 and something, right? And you can see that I have the same window also in my desktop, right? Because um, the Uno platform defines or it's a default size when we show and when we run uh, to window, it's uh, predefined as uh, a default uh, size, right? Uh, it's 1000 and something. And I don't remember exactly uh, this size, but you can see that all my screen and my screen, the resolution of my screen is smaller uh, than the, the window size. So you can see that I don't have all the information, all the content of the, my window on the screen. So uh, it's a common demand uh, for embedded the Linux with the uh, graphical user interfaces uh, to set this application to a uh, full screen or the kiosk uh, mode. Right, so what I want to show to you guys today is how to make it, how to set your .NET Uno platform Skia GTK uh, application with uh, full screen, uh, set it to kiosk mode. So if you want to know more, stay with me. Okay, so if you don't know me, I'm Matheus Costello, Embedded Software Developer, right? And this is the Micro Hobby channel. Uh, this is uh, something that I like to do, share some content about the things that I'm studying and working, right? So um, you will find uh, some videos about embedded Linux, uh, embedded systems in general, uh, Windows subsystem for Linux and other stuff. So, Check out the other videos and if you like, don't forget uh, to subscribe uh, to the channel, right? But let's go here, let's set it, uh, let's set this application to full screen mode. How we can do it um, in Ono platform, right? I uh, thought that Ono platform follows the uh, universal Windows platform API. So I will use it here, right? Let's reference here the Windows UI uh, view management, right? Um, this namespace has the application view management that we will use uh, to set our application to full screen mode, right? Um, if you search today on the Google, uh, for example, how to put an UWP uh, application in full screen, you will find some uh, Stack Overflow uh, links telling that you can use the application view preferred launch window in mode, right? And here you can set these enumerators, auto, compact overlay, full screen, that is the mode that we want, right? Maximize it in preferred launch view size, right? But there is a problem here. In Uno platform, for example, I can control click here on this field. Uh, you can see that is not implemented for Skia, right? It's not implemented, right? So for Uno platform, the preferred launch windowing mode is not implemented. So um, this will not help us uh, today, right? So uh, what we can do here on the app, uh, we have the method 
on launch it, right? At the end of the launch uh, or on the on launch, we have the initialization of the window, right? And the activation of the window, right? So at the end of this method, we can call the application view get for current view, right? Because we already have uh, the window initialized, right? And activated. So we can use the get for current view here and call the try enter through, try enter through screen mode. This method, right? This one is implemented for a skier JTK. So at the end of this own launch, right? We will launch the window in full screen mode. Let's see if it's true. Let's put a breakpoint here and let's run it for ARM 64 bit, right? My Colibri IMX8 is a ARM 64 bit. My Visual Studio Code here is already configured uh, to build it for ARM 64 bit. Uh, to make the remote deploy on my board and also connect to remote debugger, right? So let's wait. Okay, the remote sync is done. The remote debugger is already connected. So we will get the breakpoint here reach it. Let's see. Yeah, okay, we have the breakpoint here. So let's continue the code and it's done. You can see now we have our application in full screen mode, no title bar, no shell of the window, only the content of my main page XAML, my test block and my image in the right resolution, right? Um, in, in the exactly uh, resolution of my five inch uh, screen, right? Very cool. Okay, it's done. Our application is in full screen mode, right? But there is another details that we can talk about. Um, let me show you guys that when it's, when I stop here the debugger, oh, you can see that our application is also closed, right? But let me back here uh, to the code. Um, for example, the, pro the problem that can happen is uh, Tilda platform is a cross-platform uh, framework, right? Um, here on my template, I will not have this issue because I'm using only for a Skia GTK. But for example, we can have the same project here, the full screen or the folder, uh, full screen with the project for uh, Android or iOS or web assembly, uh, for example. And for all these platforms, we have the shared content, right? The project, um, the content that is shared. And we make this uh, change here on the app.xaml.cs. And this file is uh, on the shared folder, right? Is shared between all the platforms, right? But maybe I don't uh, want to run uh, for example, my application in WebAssembly in full screen. I, I want only to run my Skia GTK application full screen. So it's easy to solve this. It has two modes to, to solve this. The first one, I can use the content uh, of the constant here that is defined on the Skia GTK package, right? If you are using uh, it on your CS project, you will have this has no skia GTK defined it, right? So you can use this here and if and is done, right? If you uh, only want to run Uno uh, skia GTK backends in full screen, you can use uh, this guy. Uh, but also let's think that um, maybe I'm also developing an application that will run in a Linux embedded device and also in a common desktop, in a common Linux desktop. 
so this will be a problem right because maybe i want to run the full screen only on embedded linux and i don't want full screen in the normal uh linux desktop right so the other uh way that i can do this is using an environment variable right let's check for the environment get environment variable i can use here uno full screen let's see if this exists right and if this exists we will put our application in full screen mode so this mode is my preferred mode because you have more power or you have to choose uh, the power of choose right when put your application in full screen mode right or in skia jtk or on web assembler whatever right it's only a, ma a matter of add or set right this environment uh, variable right so for example let's put a breakpoint here let's run this application it's already on my arm 64 bit configuration so i don't set any environment variable right so this will run in a normal uh, desktop in a normal linux desktop way with the title bar and the window shell no full screen okay the application is synced on the board the remote debugger is already connected let me show the board here we expect that the breakpoint will never reach, right? Because we don't have the Uno full screen variable set, it, right? Is uh, was expected, right? We have here the window, the title bar, the window shell, and the fold size uh, set by Uno, right? So now let's run this, but setting uh, the environment variable, right? Here on VS Code, I can. Uh, check my launch JSON here on my launch JSON I have the configuration to run for my .NET Horizon ARM v8 64 bit right and I have here a configuration for the environment variables right so let's add here the Uno full screen so I, I can set anything here bananas for example right because I'm checking here only if the environment environment uh, exists, right? So now let's run it. Now we expect that our breakpoint will reach it, right? And we will have our application in full screen mode. Okay, the app is synced. The remote debugger is already connected. Let's wait for the breakpoint. Yeah, so we have our breakpoint here uh, is reached. The Uno full screen environment variable is set, so we are expecting for this. Let's continue the execution of our code, and ta da! It's here. Our full screen mode dot net Uno Skia JTK application, right? Very cool so i think that is it guys thanks a lot to watch dotnet uno applications in full screen mode on embedded linux devices right very cool i really hope that you like this content if you like it don't forget to leave your thumbs up here on this video and also to subscribe here on the channel okay so i think that is it for today Thanks a lot uh, again to watch this video and see you on the next video.